I was meant to meet Ronnie here. Hey! Oh, there you are. It's about time. <laughs> Sorry, mate. David, what is this awesome <laughs> coloured troopy set up for? Uh, it's a 2012 GXL troopy, finished in midnight blue. And I bought it about 20,000 kilometres ago from Eddie over east. Eddie from over east, eh? That's Previous it. owner. That's it, that's it. All right, let's yeah. wave to Eddie. How you going, <laughs> Eddie? Eddie? Going? <laughs> <laughs> and you're set up for touring. That's right, yeah. And surfing. Surfing, touring, and a bit of photography, that's it. You don't see too many in this colour. No, it's a, a bit Wicked of a rare one. Yeah, Midnight blue. That's it. Yeah. You always see white and sandy top. Yeah, it's good to get a different colour. I was I pretty, pretty happy to get the blue one, yeah. Let's get into it. All right, let's do it. Bar work protection, take it away, mate. I'm running a ARB commercial front bar with side steps and scrub bars. What are these tubes here? Um, so this was from the previous owner as well. He used to run a tinny rack and it was custom all the way to the roof rack. And then you could put a tinny on there and have the, the rooftop tent there as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But I'm not running that at the moment because I don't have the tinny. Yeah. Yeah. Just using a surfboard instead. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Pedal power. And then um, I've got a worn 9,000 pound winch. It's um, compatible with the bar. And I've got the... Is that yeah, bad? synthetic rope. Yeah, synthetic. So you've got two recovery points as well. Do you know what they are? Yeah, they're the road safe recovery points. And then we're running Terrain Tame, Terrain Tamer um, underbody protection. It's a nice thick plate instead of the usual. Yeah, it's pretty thick, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just the ARB scrub rails all the way down to the side steps. Works well and pretty sturdy. Geez, they're pretty long and trippy, aren't they? Mm, they are. But I guess it's good to... Longer than the dual cab ones. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. You're sitting pretty high. We'll get to your... We get to your lift. It's got a good bit of clearance, yeah, it does. Yeah. Rear bar, I've got the Kununara Special from up north, just rear bar. The Kununara Special. That's right, from up north. Yeah. It's is it like a generic bar for a trippy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Just yeah. to... Maybe throw all the backpack trippies up there, eh? That... Maybe, yeah, there's <laughs> quite a few. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad of a bar. Twin swingaways, just got the one spare for the time being? Yeah, just for the time being, but the second will go on soon for the trip up north. I like the lights. Yeah, it's nice. It's got LED. All right for reversing. There's a bit of light going there. Fitment's not too bad either, but it's a little bit closer on the edge. Front runner ladder. Almost looks stock, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it. This bit here has been cut out to be able to fit, fit the other 35 here. Okay. Yeah. And um, at the back here, I'm just running a crash pad bag to put my wet clothes, wet, like wet suits and all that in there, and also rubbish if I need to just divide it up. So you don't have all the wet wetsuits in the back of the car. Yeah, fair yeah. cool. Yeah. That's actually a good idea. That's a good use for them, isn't it? The high tower. That's it, yeah. Skyscraper. Roof racks and troopies. I've seen a lot of roof racks that are just way too high. Yeah. This one's actually sitting quite nicely. Yeah. So it's an easy on canine roof rack. It's the 2.8 meter. So it's the full length. and. It was on the car when I bought it, but it's a lot better than a lot of the other ones, like you said, that I've seen, because yeah. they sit way too high, and it just, yeah, flush, well, it's kind of like a flush almost now. And a lot of them stop here, actually. Yeah, that's where it. The, where the rake is. Yeah, so this is the perfect length, especially with the tent, and then you've got the max tracks up front, so mm. works out all good. Yeah, tent takes on a fair bit of the... It does, yeah. yeah. But it's the perfect wick. If you look at it, it's just, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's made for it. What size is the panel? Uh, 150 watt red arc. Yeah. Yeah, that'll give you heaps then. Yeah, exactly. Plenty for the fridge and all that. And that rooftop pitches up, right? So you, you'd be aiming that towards the sun? Yeah, so it's the Alucab Gen 3. So then mm. wherever you park and then in the morning you've got the morning light on it. So you get the battery charged up pretty quickly again. Max tracks on the front. Yep, yeah, it's just the easy on brackets and then the max track pins, which you can lock. How big's the awning? I don't quite know the size, but it's just there at the moment for a bit of shade along the beach. But <laughs> why, why are you smiling when we're talking about it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. There's not much to say about that one. One day I'll get something better, but it does the yeah. job for now, yeah. Yeah. Well, you spent money where you need it, like your solar panel. Yeah. The proper tracks, you know. That's it, yeah. For lights, we've got the eBay special 52 inch curved light bar. It's not too bad, it kind of gives a bit of spread for up high and when you're on a bush track or whatever. 
and it's not too bad with the bonnet. But then up front, I've got the Lightforce HTX, and they they do a great job with distance and spread, and it's a pretty good combination all round to yeah, light it up. You wouldn't use that in the highway, would you? Or what you um, do? Occasionally I do, like when I'm in like the tighter sections in the back roads or whatever, but not on the highway, like you said. No. How do you find these? Uh, yeah, as in spread and... They're great. I love them, yeah. They get like a massive distance and the, the colour's really nice on them as well. It doesn't really like hurt your eyes. Except when you, when you get closer to the signs sometimes. Yeah, the signs, they... <laughs> well, that wakes you up for sure. Yeah, it does. Any eh? <laughs> yeah. other lights around on, on your troopy? Uh, nothing at the side or the back yet. That'll definitely be something to do, especially for camping, so you don't have to use yeah. the torch on the phone all the time. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I suppose you don't surf in the dark, do you? Exactly, yeah. You don't want to be in the water when it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> For comms, I've got the 6.6 .6 DBI GME, and um, it's coupled with the TX3520. And for distance and everything, it does it pretty well, even the hills and all that sort of terrain. Yeah, it does, does a real good job. The unit inside is that? Uh, it's a little toggle, and then I've got a speaker and a handheld. So it's not one of the new new style yeah, new yeah. screens, yeah. yeah. Old school? Yeah, old school. Has seen a few days, hasn't it? Yeah, still working though. I'm running a four inch Ironman foam cell suspension up front and up the rear. And then um, I've got the Dobinson coils with uh, coil retainers at the front and uh, heavy duty leafs at the back with a couple extra um, yeah, leafs in there and the drop down extended shackles. Okay, and that brings it to what you said before was four a four inch. inch. Yeah, that's right. Have you changed the radius arms at all for yeah. the four inch? Yeah, so I've got the fulcrum um, radius arms with an adjustable panard rod. And um, when I was leaving the beach one of the, um, like quite a while ago, my um, steering dampener fell out the front. <laughs> so I replaced that with an old man emu. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's always handy when a steering dampener leaves, isn't it? That's it, yeah. <laughs> you don't want that. You got the Maxxis Razor? That's right, 315s on 16 inch Neg 44 rim. Yeah, negative 44. Yeah, bit nice, of poke on it, yeah. Nice wide stance. I do notice that the rear, you haven't created the track though. Yeah, no, I haven't, not yet. I haven't noticed it much, but mm. one day I will correct it. But at the moment it's doing pretty okay, yeah. Yeah, so you stayed away from spaces then? Yeah, I don't want to do the spaces just because yeah. you can't see And you can't right. offset the rim because you already have. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how you find the tyres and how many kilometres have you done on them? So I've done about 20 to 25,000 k's on it. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm loving them so far because there's not much road noise with them and they're grippy and go well with everything that I've done so far, yeah. I used to have an all-terrain on my old car and that made a lot more noise than this mud terrain. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was impressed. That's crazy, eh? Yeah. Quick rapid fire question about your tyre pressure. All right. So oh, highway. A highway 40 to 45. Gravel roads with corrugations? Um, 25. This kind of terrain here, muddy rocks, that kind of stuff? Yeah, it depends, probably like 25-ish. Like, depends on how like muddy and rocky it is. And sand? Sand, I just drop it straight to 15 because I don't have to worry about it. I can drop it a little bit more if I want, but 15 usually. That's your go-to? Yeah, it doesn't give me much problems. Yeah. We're flying through this one. Yeah, we are. All right, David, twin batteries, we'll cover this first. I've got my twin battery set up with the 150 watt Red Arc panel on the tent, and that's charged through a 20 amp um, Red Arc solar regulator. And that goes only to the auxiliary battery for the fridges in the back and all that, and the, the cranking battery is on its own. When the vehicle's running, does that also charge from the alternator to this battery? No, no it doesn't. It's just okay, all so it's solar. only solar. Yeah, that's right. Is that enough? Yeah, actually plenty, because all I'm running off the back is the fridge and the water pump and some little charging things. So, yeah, in the morning it gets a little bit lower, but then the sun comes up and you're okay again, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only permanent thing then is the fridge then? Yeah, that's, that's it. Right. That's it, yeah. yeah. So engine mod wise, I've got the HD, HPD catch can. Which is here? Yeah, that's right. How often do you drain it? Uh, just every service. Got a secondary fuel filter, which is just a Ryko, just for in case when you're up north and you've got dirty fuel, to help save the engine. Just got the Ironman extended uh, diff breathers to help out with the water crossings. So, yeah. Are your locker motors in there? Are your factory Toyota locker motors in there? or? I've got Harrop e-lockers, switched over from the factory Toyota lockers. Ah. Yeah. Is this a GXL? It is a GXL, yeah. Oh, it has to be because of the colour. Why are the lockers switched over? Do you know? Uh, the previous owner did that. Uh, I don't know, maybe they broke Talked them into something. it, maybe? Yeah, maybe, that's <laughs> it. They work well, though, so it yeah. turns into a tractor once you press those buttons. What's that thing hanging off there? So here I've got, um, for engine mods, 
it's the um, Mantis Sting module, but it doesn't really, I don't feel like it does much, so I'll maybe unplug it or get rid of it. And it's just like mounted in a bit of a weird spot, so I'll, I'll change that around because it could well, stuff Like a up chip and, tune, is it? Yeah, exactly, just it's, yeah, chip tune. Okay. And it's, um, I've got the Manta three inch um, legal loud exhaust as well to go with that. And the J-Max brake booster with the braided lines to help with stopping, but also because of the, um, the lift. Oh, the four inch lift. Just, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you would have to change them anyway, but yeah. Yeah. How do you find the, the braking power now? I feel like it brakes quite nice. So yeah, it's still not a race car or anything, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it stops. <laughs> yeah. Before we head to the back of the Troopy to check out the setup that's inside, we're going to have a look at what's behind this panel right here. This is where I store away all my recovery gear. And just like that. That's pretty neat, eh? Yeah, it's just all nice and neat so you don't have to go searching for it when you need it. I reckon that's like a must-do mod for a Troopy, eh? Yeah, i got to say I love it. It's instead of fumbling around in the drawers. Have you got the same on the other side? Um, I do have one of these, but it doesn't have the actual compartment. So it just goes straight into oh, the car. Straight in for access. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll turn that into like a shower or something one day. Awesome. The winch controller and the, the air down, a little hatchet and all that sort yeah. of stuff. That's just the single. Compressor right here. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, tighten it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does the job. Well, let's go to the back. No worries. There it is. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah, cool. My mate Seth and I, we built this together in the backyard a while back. Just to... How have you mounted these? It's just a Bunnings clip, pretty much, and they just <laughs> go in and out and just all the little spices. Oh, and you can just widen them where you need to, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Whatever you need to put in there. And the cups as well with a bit of Velcro holding them in. That's handy, eh? Yeah, it's just a bit neat, and that's just a oh. aluminium table, yeah. Well, that's a cool idea. You've done a latch like this. Yeah, the previous owner did that. I actually quite like it. And it doesn't matter if you cut them because metal. Mm. Yeah. That is cool. <laughs> yeah, I like this latch method. That's really easy. Yeah, exactly. There's not much messing around. I can see here we have a switchboard and that's the powerful fridge. That's right, um, yeah. That's the air hose? Uh, no, that's the water um, for the 50 litre water tank back there, the bulb tank and the cargo net. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I've got a little 12 volt pump behind, um, behind this panel here. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, just. I attach my hose, which is in here, to there, and then I can wash dishes or yeah, clean clean your feet after going to the beach or whatever. It's a 60 litre angle on an Ironman slide. It's the just legacy the, edition. That's right. Not much in there. <laughs> Couple of beers. <laughs> yeah. Bit of paper towel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good fridge, isn't it? Yeah, when you say one degrees, like when you set it to one degrees, it's one degrees instead of some other when you get freezing at one degrees or you know. Down here is where most of the stuff is. In here, I've just got most of my cooking equipment, like knives and um, what's it called, and pans and pots and a bit of coffee and tea and washing up stuff, a bit of wax and gas hose and the water hose to cook under. Yeah, hook under there. Always got to have the wax. <laughs> That's it. Only the best. Huh? And then the top one here is where you keep all the the food and the snorkel. Oh, yeah. so you've been a bit hungry lately. Yeah, she's looking a bit empty at the moment, <laughs> but that's where like the pasta and canned food and all that sort of stuff goes. When you pack all this out, yeah. how long can you go for comfortably? Well, it depends like with the water tank, 50 litres and all that, you can, you can do a couple of days pretty easily. I think the water would probably be the biggest limiting. Cargo barrier? Yeah, so I've got a Bob cargo barrier. And then... With um, a modified hole for your surfboard? Yeah, <laughs> slide it through there. And then... um. I guess I'll get this out of the way and show the little wing. Oh, the other, that's the other one on the other side. Yeah, oh, yeah and i got more storage here. Ah, oh, secret compartment. Yeah, so all my oh, recovery big fins. Gear. Yeah, and my free dive fins are in there as well. And all the recovery gear, like the jack and the... Surfing, snorkeling, free diving. That's it, yeah. Bit of water stuff. Yeah. And helicopters. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of everything. But Land, yeah. air, water. <laughs> oh, that's, is that the water tank there, the blue thing? Yeah. That's it, yeah, it's just um, behind the seats, but there's a massive gap behind the seat and the water tank, so you can make a bigger water tank, or a lot of the time I just shove like clothes bags and stuff oh, in yeah. there. Or two water tanks. Exactly, that's a good idea. You've got a uh, breather up there. Does water ever come out of that? When I've you're not angle? that yet, no. Okay. But we might find that out. <laughs> <laughs> and you just fill it up through that 
cap there, so through the rear window, so nothing special yeah. or anything, just to fill it up and wait till you hear it's full. And just a noteworthy mention here, with your water tanks, you got to put a breather in them, otherwise they just suck in on themselves and they're not cracking. I've done that before, <laughs> learned that the hard way. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you got lighting too? Oh yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> on a oh, dimmer? Hold on. No wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a toilet. <laughs> it does. Yeah, so it's just... Um, Dimmable. Dimmable lighting, yeah, which it doesn't look like much at the moment, but at night it helps heaps. Yeah. Especially uh, when you're cooking, but I'll get some more light strips for on the doors. Yeah. Nice. It's simple, but... And then you got your... Solar Keep screen. the heat out. Yeah. And these solid sides will keep the heat out too, I think. Yeah, they do. Well. Yeah. These seats are cool. They are. They've got the, I think they're Ford, Ford seats, but then they've been re upholstered, right? Yeah, re upholstered in Toyota. Very nice. In the Hurricane Fab. What's this here? Kicker? Yeah, it's for the stereo because it's got a, got some proper speakers in the front for camera ah. system, yeah. Back seat still in, not like the usual troopy setups with the full you, bed setup. You don't see, uh, you don't see many of the back seats still in, do you? No, but yeah. Uh, that, it helps out when you've got like your mates in the back or you put the dog back there or whatever. That's your speaker for the GME? That's right. And Radio? Then, there it is. Down just there. A simple, but works. Here's the Harrop E-lockers. Front and rear? Yep. So I switched over from the factory. From the factory, yeah, set up. And this here, normally you don't have the cup holders. Yes. So well, that's, that's your original cup holder there. And yeah. So yeah, Dingo 4x4. I reckon it's pretty good. Yeah. Sturdy and does the job. When did I add this bit? I couldn't be oh, I couldn't tell you, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Because I've I've got this bit, I don't have that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's eleven litre to medic. Oh yeah. Yeah, and just good for yep. when you're on the road or whatever. Keep stuff cold. Fridge freezer. Armrest. Um, yeah, yeah, it's perfect Love. height I reckon. And got the iDrive and the Iron Man brake controller for the trailer. I've got an iDrive and an Iron Man brake controller. Oh, that might be what's um, interfering with your uh, module in the front. Yeah, you might. Yeah, okay, that could that can make sense. Yeah, because I, I got an exhaust put on my car, right, my vehicle. Yeah. And they put a throttle control on it. I didn't yeah. even ask for it. Okay. They just put it on because yeah. they probably figured that they would get a plug for it or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I was wondering why the car was driving so bad. It's because that on top of the, the chip, it just messes everything up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to. So I ripped mine straight out. Yeah, mine just drove so it. bad. So maybe try and pull that out. Maybe that, maybe you might find it working. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Mm. I'll give that a crack. Thank you. Just, just a note for everyone out there as well. Like, I see a lot of people, they put a throttle control on top of their chip tuning. Yeah. Like, your chip tuning should do that for you. Otherwise, you mess things up. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, try it. It might not work. Yeah, if it does, that'd be awesome. Anything else going on in the back? Um, in the back, it's pretty stock standard just for camera gear and dog and people. Speakers back there as well. Yeah. It's got different door cards as well. Ah, but yeah. They're, yeah, not the regular style ones, like leather. Kind of suits the seats. Yeah, it does. That's what I want done, my door cards. Oh, there you go. There are yours. <laughs> no, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> and um, just, yeah, it's got the light bus. Oh, that's just the... Um, Little knife? Yeah, it's a pilot knife, but it's got the window breaker and the oh, seatbelt seat cutter. cutter. Yeah. yeah, just yeah, it does the job. Everything you need. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. All right, let's do some Q and A. You got a troopy, you surf. That's it. You dive, <laughs> free dive. You snorkel. Yeah. So you spend a bit of time on the beach then. I do. Yeah. How's yeah. the beach driving going with the troopy? No, oh, it's awesome. Like, compared to my old car, this thing just, you don't have to worry about anything. It just gets up every hill and makes it easy. Yeah, it makes everything look easy. What did you have before? Uh, an Amarok, four-cylinder Amarok, yeah. It was yeah. a little bit like the traction control would cut in and just, yeah, I definitely prefer this. Could you turn the traction control off on the other one? Mm -mm, you could turn it off, but it, it would still... still worked in the background. Yeah, exactly. So then when you needed it to not turn on, it would turn on. Ah. Yeah, you'd get stuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad, but this okay. is... Yeah. But this one here, you just lock it and exactly. off you go. Yeah, both lockers on and you can just crawl. Like, mm. yeah, just dream. <laughs> Have you been bogged before? Um, I've tried to get bogged, like buried the rears.
just to see how the lockers work and all that sort of stuff, but I haven't been bogged properly where I'm like, oh, get the recovery gear. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah. But maybe that'll change soon. Yeah. It's, a, it's actually a good thing to do is to, when you got a new car, mm. you're not used to, is, is to actually try and get it bogged in a controlled situation. Yeah. That's Obviously, it. not on the waterline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then work out how to get out of it. Yeah, that's, and it does really well. Especially with the tyres let down, it just. Yeah, it creeps over everything quite nicely. You were saying beach pressures are 15 yeah, PSI? Yeah, about 15. That's just your go-to and then yeah. off you go. And if, if I need to, I could go a little bit lower, but wouldn't mm. want to go much lower because it's quite heavy. Okay. Yeah. What's the biggest trip you've done on it? Um, only like margs at the moment, but I guess when this video will be out, it'll be broom and all up in up in the north in Exmouth and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, nice. So you got the big tree coming up. Yeah, exactly. And Denmark, so even further south. Mm. So yeah, it'll be... It'll be well travelled by then. Top three mods on the Land Cruiser, on the Troopy? Um, definitely the tent, because it's just so easy, just pops up and somewhere to sleep and don't have to worry about bed sheets or anything. The lift and tyres, just the look that it gives it and the clearance and the capability you get with it. Yeah, it's definitely got clearance. Yeah, it does. <laughs> don't have to worry about rocks. Well, not too much at least. And then I would say, I guess maybe the lockers, just to, yeah, you, you can drive everything nice and slowly. And, mm. Next mod. Oh, ne just one? Oh, okay, or... give us a listen. <laughs> oh, well, I've got kind of maybe three or four next mods, which would be um, re-powder coat the front bar because it's a bit tired, and then um, sound insulate the inside because it's a little bit loud. Worst part and best part about having a Troopy? Worst part, I'd probably say, is the, the weight on the roof, so you have to be a little bit like gentle and watch out that you don't hit too many hard angles or anything. And the best part, well, there's a couple of things, but... I reckon probably the look and how it just, yeah, like the presence of the car, how much space it has and the engine, I really love the, the V8 on it. David, thanks for bringing this awesome trophy on, mate. No worries, thank you for the and invite. No worries, look forward to seeing some more photos from your broom trip. Yeah, definitely, yeah. send some through. Cheers guys for watching, and if you've got any questions, David will be on here at 4 a.m. Sunday morning answering them all for you. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless this, this is released on a Wednesday, then it'll be 3.30 in the afternoon. That'll be all right then. Wednesday yeah. will be fine, yeah. <laughs> Easy. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers.